Hello and welcome to the League of Average Gaming. I'm your host, League Master Gentinord, continuing our tutorial of Imperator Rome. And we are just about to start another war. Oh, wait. This is the first we've seen of this. Declare war using war goal. Forcing this through the Senate will increase tyranny by five. So apparently, this is not liked. This isn't, and no one likes this going through. Where can I see the Senate's view of this? So I see all of the allies approving to bring in people, but I don't see where they say so by themselves. So the mercantile faction is in charge. Well, it looks like there's a lot of military people in charge. I don't see how it couldn't pass going through. Um, what will the tyranny do? Tyranny, we did get that boost to tyranny reduction in the last episode. So maybe we can just force it through. Oh, here, back at the beginning. Okay, 46 seats declaring war. Okay, so it is close. So everyone, it's actually the military faction's kind of not for that. Why is that? Because we're already at war. Is the lack of support. Okay, so I guess we will hold off on pushing for that other war since we're already at war. You can call down an omen. Well, we're going to keep going Blessing of Pluto to alleviate these money problems that we have. So maybe when we aren't in so many wars at the same time, we'll be able to proceed. A new invention! Let us take... Advanced wall construction, civic tech investment plus 5%. Need for greater defensive walls had great influence on the development of civic architecture with masons employing ever more innovative methods to construct buttresses and towers so too did grand civic structures begin to soar to the heavens so i'll get a little boost there so we can get our advances faster regardless of who our researcher is Oh, which siege will finish first? 21 versus 28. Up to 28 and 35 now. There we go. And actually, no. That's a completely different event. 35 all right now. As many of the more veteran members of our blessed political institution know, youth is a wonderful state of joy, experience, and most importantly, gullibility. Gnaeus Decius has recently emerged, fresh face, onto the political scene, espousing the rhetoric of the religious faction. Like vultures to a corpse, those desperate to sway Gnaeus to their cause have descended, each using their cunning to try and recruit him. Perhaps it behooves our council to step in and show Gnaeus the true path. Mm, we shouldn't interfere. We'll gain 60 conviction for populist faction. That's, I don't want to use my oratory power for that. I'm using that to get claims. Is there nothing else I can use all this religious power on? Hey, a siege is one. Huzzah. Looks like actually all of the sieges are one. Because... Everything's taken care of. Great. Okay, take over all of this stuff. Looks good to me. Also, take over all of your stuff. Looks good to me. Okay. 
I guess that can get converted to money. You can convert... No, they took that out, actually. You can convert money to points. You cannot convert points to money. So, that is a little different. We could swap out how we're paying for things. So we could get more taxes or more commerce and whatnot. Have weaker morale of armies or navies. What is our navy? Our navy's not very expensive right now. Fort maintenance is fairly high. No, I think everything's fine. The base level, just because we have so much money. We'll probably mess with that later on. So, do you guys approve of us going to war now? Yes. There are seats behind it. Declare war. We'll roll on in. Like it's nothing. So who is you? You're a general. How are you scorned? Seems like a good job to have. Expect to be paid 2% of the state's income. Yeah, still, I'm not worrying about that. Doesn't seem like a big deal to me. Of course we're victorious. We are Rome. We've been given a gift from a Latin local power of Apulia. Well, thank you for that gracious gift. Are you in a war? <laughs> You're in a civil war. Will you look at that? What a time to be alive. Well, they do have a fair number of troops right there. I think I'll let them kind of peter off. Oh, well, if all of my allies, all my subjects are around, I guess it wouldn't hurt to move in. Quintius Fabius Gurgius, for reasons known only to himself, has begun voicing his opinion in support of Lucius Postmuius Megalus whenever the Senate assembles. Such psychophantic actions may be tiresome, but a voice for is better than a voice against. Mm, I mean, sure. I don't no need to make this guy disloyal. I don't need any rivals. That'd be bad. We shall put up with it. Blockaded ports. Oh, someone actually has some boats for once. Let's go fight them. Afford a new invention. Let's get some more research points here. Pythagorean mathematics. The ancient Greek Pythagoras was a mathematician and philosopher of legendary repute. Embracing the practical aspects of his theories will have numerous scientific applications. His boats are actually going to run off. So. I'm not sure what that penalty was, but it is good to see that there is, in fact, a benefit to blockading ports. I don't see a benefit for us, but they must get a negative, because otherwise we wouldn't have had a flag up there. Or maybe it was just, hey, go fight. You can fight. Did you know you could fight? He's going to go into his other port. We will go blockade that one instead. Or we'll just force a fight. Naval battle. Boom! They've lost their one boat. Did we capture it? Because we have 13 now. I think we just straight up stole their boat. Very nice. Okay, so we're just sitting on sieges right now. Gnaeus falls ill. Gnaeus Flavius has sent word that he's fallen ill. Perhaps if he is wealthy enough, he'll seek treatment of his own volition 
Otherwise, we could always step in if his condition worsens. Interesting. Well, I'm not sure what their civil war is doing to them. <laughs> but they're not bothering us while we siege their forts down. Miraculous recovery. Thankfully, Gnaeus Flavius seems to be in remission from his previous ailment. Doctors are overrated anyway. Curious. Oh, yeah, if you guys think you can win the battle, feel free. I have other wars to wrap up. Ooh, can I turn around and kill this one guy? I will do that. I need to let them run around with new troops. Conflict of the Orders, in spite of the rights granted to plebeians since the last session in 411, tension between the patricians and plebeian classes of Rome has been growing lately, partly influenced by the work of Gnaeus Flavius, among others. None of our concessions have dampened the plebeians' determination to secure political and legal equality. However, a new political class made up of both patricians and plebeians has been growing, incorporating the middle-income families of the Republic. We must decide whether to promote the expansion of this new nobilitas as a middle ground, or give in to the populist demands for reform. I would like people to be happier. So only real reform will truly resolve the issue. Freeman Happius, 10% for 15 years 16 no 15 yeah populist faction influence plus 0.25 rome institutes lex horistinia national unrest minus one national freeman happiness plus two and a half plebeians will be upset if this integration law is changed before the conflict is resolved okay well there hey a seed is one Looks like our allies are having some problems fighting these battles. Not to worry. We will assist him. It will be our pleasure. <laughs> we roll up and our guy stood straight up. No, Rome will win. You cannot harm me. I won't even fight you now. Silly animations. Okay, yes. Victory is ours. Let's go siege his remaining province. Oh. I guess you'll do it. That works for me. Didn't mean for ally to get all your people killed. But I guess that's what happens. As he just runs around having nowhere to retreat to. And we'll continue to work on the ally. The main target is completely dead. And then we can go down back towards Syracuse and into Sicily. Oh, we don't even need all of Sicily, it looks like. Expansion of the tribe. Since Romulus founded our great city, its citizens have been divided into the tribes. Originally, it was an ethnic distinction, but since the Republic was formed, the tribes have been divisions of eligible citizens whose local consensus is, to sub is submitted as a vote in the tribal assembly in Rome. The number of tribes has fluctuated throughout our history, beginning with merely three. There are now over 30 added or redrawn as our state has grown. New tribes are formed as our citizen population rises to better represent the opinions of the whole republic. There have lately been calls to create two more tribes to be named Anesis and Tarantini to ensure votes are fairly distributed. This should please the provinces. Yeah, I, I don't see why I would do things that 
make people unhappy, yeah. Give me that provincial loyalty plus 0 0.05 and a local population growth 0.25. One for five years, one for 20 years. Very nice. Inventions, yes. Get more inventions. Grain rations, national population growth plus 0.05%. Handing out portions of free grain to those who require it keeps the wheels of our civilization turning. If we have more people, we might can make them more money. So let's do that. I would like to full annex both of these people. As quickly as possible. And I believe this woman fort is all that stands in our way of doing that. Yeah, we just have to conquer Syracuse. We don't actually need that other stuff. So, you fabricate claim on your thing. Tongue tied. Addressing the good people of Rome this morning on a matter of little importance, Publius Cornelius Barbatus found himself completely lost for words. If Consul Lucius were to intervene, we would surely earn the undying gratitude of Publius. However, such a public display of bipartisan camaraderie would likely cause concern. No, we'll just enjoy the show, and he'll lose lots of popularity, and that'll suck to be him. Another invention, Super Numerii. Supply limit plus 10%. An auxiliary group of enlisted men, the Super Numerii, acted as reinforcements, orderlies, and performed other non-specific duties. Should help in people getting murdered, just standing places, the attrition. Don't see it helping this particular army, but that's okay. Come on, 42%. I believe in you. You can fall down. There we go. Just had to will it to fall. And it would fall. 20,000 men. He's really raising people up. Lucius the Uncaring. All his peers have given up expecting Lucius Postmius Megalus to display any morsel of humanity to his fellow man. He is beyond all hope. Interesting. Now uncaring. It's kind of a shame, but all right. I'll make sure his army is thoroughly wiped, yes. Tribal Chief Agrippia offers friendship. We have received an envoy sent by Tribal Chief Agrippia Chloeus, ruler of our subject, Pelagenia. He offers our ruler, Consul Lucius Postmius Megalus, his personal friendship. Strengthening our connection with our subject could have its benefits. Um, yeah, this could be useful. We'll be his friend. Everyone likes having friends, right? Super peace. First, the subject, well, not the subject, the ally. Take all of his stuff. That is fine. And the main guy. Take all of his stuff. Boom. Easy peasy. Tutorial objective. What am I missing? Oh, right, there's stuff down here. Of course. Let's march that way. Can we group over there. And move our boats to the strait. Shipwrecked. One of Rome's most renowned merchant traders, Lucius Voluminus Violins, has appeared before our Senate in tears. He tells a huge shipment of exotic fruits which sank beneath the rolling waves on a journey from Neapolis to Serapis. He beseeches us to recover at least some of the losses in order to preserve the reputation of Roman trade throughout the world. How awful we should help. There are more pressing concerns. I have to buy up his failing trade empire. Until the end of the game, we'll get a local trade, a local import. Oh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll just buy him out. That seems good. I like modifiers until the end of the game. 
There's an election soon, okay. Oh, I think we will re-elect Gnaeus Flavius, I believe. He was a ruler previously. I could be mistaken. No, we never had one that bad at Marshall, so that was a different populist, I'm going to say. So all power costs are now 10% more expensive. I don't like the populist faction, then. An invention. Uh, let's have plus one capital import routes from the Logistics Bureau. Our burgeoning state is beginning to struggle under its own weight. A dedicated logistics administration must be instituted to handle the flow of traders and merchants into our capital. So, what will we bring in next? Um, perhaps some fish? No, we already import fish. So it's only the surplus where we get the bonus from, but we don't have the civic power to do an import right now, so we'll have to wait on that anyway. Well, we'll just go ahead and get into position for our Rome, our our Rome, our war against Syracuse and his subjects, which we will get to in the next episode. So, thank you all for joining us. Hope you are learning a lot here in this tutorial of Imperator Rome. And if you have been enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and comment down below. It really helps us out. But until the next episode, I've been your host, League Master Gentinor. This has been the League of Average Gaming. We'll see you next time.